Pahrump Valley Fire and Rescue often responds to fires sparked by various heat sources in the winter months. Fire Chief Scott Lewis tells us how to stay safe while keeping warm. Sure, well there's so many different types. There's kerosene fire, which are pretty much outlawed in every state, and that's due to carbon monoxide accumulation, tip over, use of flammable and combustible liquids to refill them, things like that. The other type are mostly electrical. We talked about the fireplace a little earlier. Um, that's a good way if it's constructed and installed correctly. It's been cleaned, maintained, and you're using appropriate types of materials as, such as fuels in there. It's never meant to douse wood materials or anything with combustible or, or flammable liquids. So if you use the fireplace correctly, that gives a nice augmentation. It also gives a nice uh, aesthetic, kind of pleasing atmosphere. But most people like to go with the ease and portability of electric space heaters. And we have a number of space heaters over the years that have caused significant fires in Pahrump and outside of Pahrump also throughout the county. The majority of the issues are too closely placed to combustible materials, bedding, pile clothing, paper products, anything along those lines left unattended and also the electrical source. Almost every single appliance should be plugged directly into an outlet, not to an extension cord. Most often we find that the extension cord failures are because they're kind of tightly woven still, they're not spread out, they're placed under materials that causes resistive heating, therefore we have then the secondary fire event. The other thing too is to consider is don't put them all on the same chain of electrical outlets because you can still overload a system, especially on manufactured structures. They're designed for certain applications in those outlets. So when you start placing high amperage, high wattage space heaters all in a row, then you can overload the system and therefore you can have a fire within the walls or it can impact the outlets, it can impl uh, the plugs that plug into the outlets. And that's what we've seen across the board. Yeah, we'll see a lot of heat lamps used outside in pens. Uh, the pens usually have some kind of combustible material, straw or hay, something like that. They give comfort to the animals. But unfortunately, again, that material can become dried out. It can you know, ignite and therefore then you have a, a structure fire of that being what is containing animals in addition, a lot of times they place them up against the houses, so now you have uh, exposure per, uh, extension to the primary dwelling. Some space heaters have a feature that shuts off when the unit tips over. Chief Lewis talks about why that can still be an issue. And you still have to rely, you rely on the fact that if they are tipped over, a lot of times they're not completely tipped over, or if they are in a tipped fashion, they're placed against other materials. Placing an electrical cord under a rug or carpet can cause a fire. Here's why. What that does is it doesn't allow the extension cord to release any heat buildup. And there's some good examples here. I know you'll film in a couple minutes where you'll see rings around an extension cord. That's because it doesn't have the appropriate ventilation. It's wrapped tightly. It causes resistive heating and can ignite the extension cord or, and or the materials that are placed upon it. Are space heaters a good option to heat a small area in your home? It's like anything else. There's a risk associated with it. So use uh, appropriately, use wisely, strategically placed in your presence, they add great value. But once you start using them as a tool or implement to heat a house and you're no longer in the environment, or there's material placed around, or there's something what we call series arcing, where there's an actual arcing between the plug and the outlet, you may not know that there's a problem until the problem presents in a larger fashion.